Employers of Reddit, what is the most disturbing thing you've discovered performing a background check on candidates? Maryland. He had a charge for catching undersized crabs. Minimum was 5 inches across the shell at the time. That. Mother. Ducker. Full stop. We had a guy include a shirtless flexing portrait on his resume. He was applying for an engineering position. We still have no idea what that was for. Oh I can win this one. We got somebody who failed a background check for selling planes to Iran. He broke the embargo imposed against them by the US when he tried to sell 117 million dollars worth of planes. Like that wouldn't come up on a background check. Guy applied for a driver position with one of our senior care affiliates. Take elderly people on errands and to appointments. Deliver meals. Take clients to the center where they can hang out. Etc. Not one. Not two. But ten counts of elder abuse. With a side of attempted murder and theft. Rescinded that offer real damn quick. I was part of a group interview for a director position. The guy was cool. Definitely qualified and was breezing through the interview. Pretty funny too. I thought for sure he was in. We get to the end and HR is telling him about the process after if they were to offer him the position and once they mention the background check he quickly responds that he wouldn't pass it. We all sit there in silence for a second and he calmly says that he was charged with three counts of felony armed robbery so likely wouldn't pass. I don't want to give too much details because this story is quite specific and potentially humiliating for the person we didn't hire. We interviewed a young guy for a position. And I did the basic check with his former employers once they were shortlisted for the final interviews. All came in fine except one, where they asked to have a phone conversation about the candidate. I got a call from them wherein they explained that he'd actually been fired for repeatedly posting photos to the company Instagram and Twitter which contained hidden items that weren't meant to be in there. I pushed and pushed to find out exactly what they meant. And it turns out this person we were interviewing to manager our social media had been posting photos with his genitals hidden in the photos for months before his bosses had noticed. We did a background check on a guy who it turns out had sued every former employer for an on-the-job injury, usually right after 90 days, when most trial periods end. I did not hire him, but somebody else did, and I warned them that the background check showed at the 90-day mark. He would try and get injured on the job and sue them. They took that to heart. And on the 92nd day, he showed up to work with a lawyer, claiming that his office chair had hurt his back, that the lights above his cubicle were giving him migraines, and his monitor was making his eyes hurt. The company responded prepared with their own lawyers, gave him an ergonomic keyboard, a monitor filter, and a special little area where the lights were better, and an ergonomic chair. And then they made it known that they would be contacting his former employers, many of whom he had sued saying he was unable to work anymore. He stopped complaining and was let go in the next round of layoffs. A candidate's blog with his personal description being, father, DJ, former rapist and UI designer, I hate the 9-5 grind and hope it dies. He was applying for a 9-5 job. Edit, apply, applying, edit too. This kind of blew up. I was interviewing a guy for a manager position and was planning on hiring him. Mentioned that he'd have to do a background check. Straight out said he would not pass because of an armed robbery and assault charge. Seemed like a normal guy to me. Guy had a felony assault charge. Not disturbing in itself but found out later it was from beating his previous boss face in after being confronted about coming in late to work repeatedly. The boss survived but apparently had to have his face reconstructed. So yeah dart hard pass on that one. Man applying for a job as a construction estimator. He owned a construction company and was convicted of defrauding various city and county governments. Pretty much the last person you'd want doing estimates. The next guy who applied was a register red 6 offender. I was on a roll with that position. I called an applicant's reference and his former employer said. I'm not allowed to comment on former employee performance. I can only confirm their start and end dates. But, why don't you ask me about the weather? I said okay how is the weather there? He replied. The clouds are moving lazily across the sky and they are really dumb. I found out later that he stole this from a Dilbert cartoon. But he really did say it. 
that he had been convicted of a sixth offense. He still got the job as he came into the office with a 15-year-old police report and court transcript, which explained he had got drunk during his first week at uni and took his pants off to take a piss in a fountain and was found half-naked by a lady the next morning asleep in the fountain. This was at a time that the police were being really hard on public nudity, and he did a stupid thing in the wrong place. My wife interviewed a candidate for a manufacturing job. She proceeded with background check and the FBI showed up within 20 minutes of her search. Wanted her to pretend to hire him and have the dude come and so they could arrest him. She said, no no no, I do background checks so we don't have a shootout in the parking lot. FBI arrest guy that afternoon at the address he put on his application. FBI could not tell my wife what the guy did, only that he was extremely dangerous and wanted under a closed eyes only file. She also said some other candidate came in whose background check popped 6 counts of child molestation with a minor under 7 years of age. He appeared in a video for Chumbawamba. Not as bad as some to these, but I run a lot of background checks at my job. It was a bit darkly humorous when we were filling a position at a rehab facility, only to have like 6 finalist candidates in a row screen out with recent drug charges. I had a great guy interview and wanted to offer him the job but on a quick background check I found that he was a former local politician who drunkenly hit another car and told the guy he hit that he wasn't going to jail because he was a councilman. A few months after that he pulled a gun on his wife and kids. He was a nice guy just had some major anger problems. It looked like he had changed his life around and wrote a book about the experience he had dealing with depression and coming home from war. I decided to hire the guy and he was one of the best workers I ever had. When we were hiring contractors I would google their names and phone numbers to see what I could find on them. One of the guys that applied was recently in jail for a few years for endangering the welfare of a child. The article stated that the police showed up at the home of him and his girlfriend to serve a warrant. Upon entering the home they saw that the entire place was swimming with raw sewage. There were dirty needles scattered everywhere. When they checked the back bedroom they found two naked toddlers on moldy mattress that were surrounded by raw sewage. It made me physically ill to read. Needless to say, we did not hire him. Edit. I also found a d-pic he posted with his phone number saying text me for more pics. Years ago, I was hiring for a large call center project. We were using a background check vendor which provided instant results. We did it on the spot when an offer was made so we could just go ahead and knock out the new hire paperwork. The result came back that the guy sitting in front of me was supposed to be sitting in jail at that moment. The punchline? It turned out that the guy sitting in front of me was not the real perp. His uncle had stolen his identity and had no ID on him when he was arrested. He was close enough in age to his nephew that he could pass just by giving the nephew's name, birth date, and SSN. Neither had been in the system before this. A fingerprint check eventually cleared things up. Keep in mind, this was about 10-11 years ago. It would be harder for this to happen today. Edit. Clarification of type of vendor. I did a background check for one guy, and I found out that he had lied about every single job that he had. Going one job back, he claimed that he was a manager at a shoe store that went out of business. I was unable to verify that because the shoe store went out of business. Then he said that he was in the military for 4 years as a communication specialist. I found that he was in the army for 3 months, but got an honorable discharge because he couldn't make it through boot camp. He claimed before that he was the manager of the evening shift at a chicken plant. Turns out that he was a janitor for only a few months before he was fired for job performance. He claimed he was a manager of a hotel before that. And it turned out that his mother was actually the night manager. And she was fired because she kept bringing her kid to work. I tried to do the math. And I realized that if everything in the background check was true. That the applicant probably also lied about his age. And had to be a lot younger than he claimed to be. He said he was in his late 20s. But I bet he was no older than 20 or 21. I was working at a family fund center as the accountant. I did all the payroll and was listed at the contact person with the state for any employee questions. I get a call that went something like this. Ted. Hi. My name is Ted and I'm calling to see if you employ Sally. Me yes. She just started here last week. 
T I'm Sally's parole officer. I wanted to check and see if she will be dealing with any children at her work. Me yes. This is a family fun center that is full of kids. Is there a problem? EA. You need to send her home right now. She is not allowed to work anywhere with kids. Did you do a background check on her? Me I'll check with HR but we normally do run a background check. TI will contact her. But please send her home and do not let her return. Me okay. Thank you. End of convo. I do a quick google search and pull up her police record. Turns out she and her boyfriend had a kid together but were both addicted to drugs. To get the baby to stop crying they would put a bag over the baby's head and make it pass out. One night they left it over the baby's head too long and it stopped breathing. She did a few years in jail and had just recently been paroled I lost it on our HR person because I found out he had stopped submitting background checks to the company we used even though we were still paying them the monthly fee. TL. DR. Hired a baby killer to work with kids at a family fun center. How about something disturbing that did not show up on a background check? I don't know about all states but in GA you can only run a pre-employment background check on someone for Georgia only so if the crime was committed in another state then it does not show up on a background check in our state. Had a store manager who did 7 years in a Texas prison for raping a 16 year old girl. He did not register in GA as a 6 offender and worked for our company for 5 years before a random employee decided to google his name and found his mug in a public database in Texas. The guy was an asshole to his employees so of course someone notified our regional manager the same day. He was walked out by state patrol the next day. That was the last I ever saw of him.